Well, good morning, everyone. Meteorologist Michael Wilhite here with SouthernIndianaWeather.com. A big day headed up across the area. We've got uh, quite steep temperature gradient across the area. We're sitting here at about 55 degrees, 56 degrees or so here across, uh, you know, the Southern Indiana Weather Office. And look at the steep temperature gradient across the area. Here's radar in motion as well. You can see some very spotty things out there this morning. Nothing huge yet, but as that low pressure starts to deepen up, it'll become more robust. And uh, that cold front, as it's dragging through, Showers will increase as we head later into the afternoon, and we got some wintry weather concerns this evening as well. Let's get right into it. First off, let me go ahead and stop the radar here. We can zoom in, and we can kind of see temperatures across the area. Spotty showers around, nothing really significant right now, but 57 here at the Southern Indiana Weather Office in Huntingburg, 58 there in Evansville, and you know, about the same par for the course there in Louisville. But look at this. You're still barely above freezing. 33 up in Indianapolis, 34 Bloomington, 36 there in Vincennes. Uh, 52 there in Washington. That's a heck of a temperature extreme. Uh, Washington and Vincennes are, you know, 15 minutes apart from each other, and you're talking 36 versus 52. That is a pretty impressive uh, temperature difference. You can see it as I put the color fill on here as well, and this steep temperature gradient is going to come in here uh, in pretty uh, pretty high fashion this afternoon. Here's the way the models shake it out. We're going to use the high kilometer, the uh, three kilometer high res NAM today, uh, and, and just kind of see how this does. It's an experimental version. Normally, the four, it's a four-kilometer NAM, um, and this is sort of an experimental version of it. It'll go uh, operational in February, but it's a good test for the event to see how this thing goes. And here's the way things shake out. You notice the steep temperature gradient across the area this morning, with those 50s to you know even 60s across western Kentucky. It's 62 there in Paducah, uh, 36 in Vincennes, 33 in Indy. You see this, but look at this kind of temperatures. This is what's waiting for us, and unfortunately, as I put this into motion, what you see is that cold front nears us today. It's going to squash that by later today. Here's 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central this afternoon. You're already dipping into the 40s, uh, 49 in Evansville, 61 in Owensboro. So again, a very steep temperature gradient. There's your cold front starting to plow through the area this afternoon. The wintry problems are going to come later this evening, though, as we fall below freezing, and that doesn't look like it's going to happen until about uh, 8 or 9 o'clock over a good chunk of the area tonight. And then as those uh, temperatures come in, it's it's going to go down mighty cold. By the time you wake up on Sunday morning here, you're going to be temperatures 19 in Vincennes, 22 in Evansville, 27 in Louisville. So definitely some frozen concerns there. And you notice as the day goes on, you just don't really get much more improvement here on uh, Sunday. You know, you're talking temperatures here. All right, apologize there for the jumpiness. I had to sneeze. I didn't figure you would want a sneeze. In the microphone, but quite a different uh, temperature gradient here on Sunday. You know, you're talking temperatures uh, as you go through this. They may warm into the uh, mid 20s across the area and some of the bigger cities, upper 20s. It's still going to be very cold on Sunday, no matter how you shake it. Here's the way things shake out, and there's a couple of different ways that you can take this tonight. And which one is going to be right? We're just going to have to monitor those radar trends. Here's the high kilometer. Here's the high res NAM, that new three kilometer. And notice that the shower activity, pretty spotty until this evening. As the low starts to deepen up and as it starts to draw very close to us, the cold front swings through. We're starting to get some uh, thunderstorms become and maybe some isolated rumbles of thunder here, but showers become a little bit more robust across western Kentucky. That spreads over us. And again, I think Kentucky is really going to get more of the rain than what Indiana will. It'll stay pretty spotty for us here in Indiana. But watch this as, as the night wears on, and here we are down to about... Uh, close to the midnight uh, range here, you see uh, some sleet concerns, and the sleet becomes really robust on this. The sleet is the purple, freezing rain here in the red, and this is snow back here in the blue. And just watch how this evolves. So let's go back here to, here we go, this is 7 p.m. Eastern time. So we go 8, uh, 9, 10, 11. By, the, by 10 or 11 tonight, you're starting to get into some icing concerns over a good chunk of southern Indiana, certainly the Evansville metro area and, and points around southwest. And then as you go through the night, look at this, it becomes a pretty robust sleep threat for us. That's not what we want to see. Of course, that's better than freezing rain, but not by much. Uh, an ice threat is still an ice threat. Notice the snow stays off to our north. I wouldn't rule out some snow flurries with this, but it's not going to be a big threat for us. This is mostly going to be a wintry mix of sleeting, freezing rain, and maybe a few flurries to go uh, with it. And then, of course, by the time uh, the high-res NAM takes this out uh, by early Sunday morning. Now, that's a pretty robust threat. Let's take a look at what the uh, HER model, which is also a three-kilometer model, sometimes does good, sometimes doesn't do good. Here's the spotty showers throughout the day. As you go, it becomes a little bit more robust that night. 
there comes the transition as we head uh, to about 9 p.m. Now we're starting to transition to some freezing rain across the area here. And then watch this. It's not robust at all. We get a little bit of light amounts of freezing rain with it. And it's pretty much all gone here during about you know 3 a.m. or so. It moves it out a little bit faster than what the high-res NAM does and it's not as robust with the ice thread there's just not as much to work with so well let's hope for the let's let's really hope for the hers scenario but let's be prepared for the high res nam scenario as well could this be robust could this be minor i'm i would lean more towards the her at this point i'd lean more towards the minor because high pressure is going to be building in here and sort of squashing this off but we really need to be prepared for both and it'll be a good test for uh the both of them to see how they compare against each other as far as accumulations here's what you can see if you believe the her model here there's some very light uh freezing rain accumulations here across the area and uh not so much with the uh with the three kilometer nam but keep in mind it changes it to sleet uh, now freezing rain is typically worse than what you would see underneath of uh, a sleet but really both are going to stick to the roads Sle freezing rain is just rain that falls uh, and it's frozen on contact because the surface is below freezing so that gives you a light glaze of everything the sleet is those ice pellets that fall from the sky they can still stick to stuff and still make it very slippery so either one is, is it's, it's, it's a Great to grab back. All right, neither one is going to be fun to drive on. That's the bottom line. So um, we'll have to see. You know, uh, as far as snow is concerned, neither one of them here is the her, and here is the high res nam. Neither one of them showing us with any uh, real accumulations here for snow. I, I wouldn't rule out some snowflakes during the night with this, but again, ice is going to be the bigger concern for us now because of that. The National Weather Service has issued winter weather advisories across the area. There's a current look at radar, and you can see that temperature gradient again. But let me go over here in my controls and turn on those advisories for you and you can see it's most of the area wide now as these uh, offices have not issued advisories for these counties up here yet they may still later on today but a winter weather advisory is certainly in effect for a good chunk of the area it's obviously going to start earlier out here and a little bit later up in here so uh, up around Louisville their uh, winter weather advisories don't start until you know closer to midnight tonight but it's about 5 6 p.m. that they start out in here so again uh, it'll, it'll be a pretty rough night as we head across the area and as I just sort of zoom this out a little bit there's uh, by the way the line up here is this the uh, freezing line in the atmosphere it's the wraps 32 degree line in the atmosphere and you can see there's uh, even freezing rain advisories up to our north but really the whole area underneath of some some form of an advisory here so bottom line if you've got travel plans tonight it's it's uh, pretty rough and actually travel still pretty slow going all the way up to our north because it's uh, below freezing and they had some uh, nasty stuff to deal with last night all right, folks, it's a busy day in the weather office. I'm going to go ahead and cut this video short. I will have updates throughout the day, so uh, please be sure that you follow me, facebook.com slash southernindianaweather, as well as on Twitter here, twitter.com, and I am handle at southerninwx. Be sure to follow me. For some updates throughout the day, I'll be posting some radar updates, some other, some other thoughts and things. I may have a video again later this afternoon as well. We'll just have to see whether the situation warrants it or not, but that's the update as of about 9.50 a.m. Eastern time as I'm in this video here this morning folks again look for more throughout the day i'm meteorologist michael wilhite have a great day stay safe out there tonight and stay tuned for more updates